Today, we're going to cover the fundamentals of Python programming, including using the Jupyter Notebook application to write and execute Python code, performing calculations like you would in your calculator, generating outputs with static text as well as dynamic values, and creating and manipulating variables. What we want here is the Jupyter Notebook application, this top center application. So Jupyter Notebook is, to writing Python code, what Microsoft Excel is to creating spreadsheets. The same way that you create spreadsheets to build financial models if you're going to analyze a merger or an LBO, in the same way, you're going to open up Jupyter Notebook, and that is your platform for writing and executing your Python code. So we're going to go ahead and hit launch, and we're going to navigate to the file that you should have received with this lesson. And if you haven't saved that file down to your computer yet, then I want you to go ahead and find that file and download it to your computer in a place that is easy for you to access. So now Jupyter Notebook has opened in a new window on my internet browser. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where I saved that Jupyter Notebook file. So this is the folder on my computer where I saved the Jupyter Notebook file, and you should have a file that's exactly the same as this one. I'm going to click that file and it's going to open in a new tab. And here you see the Jupyter Notebook for this module. It has these cells, these gray boxes for you to write code in, as well as some instruction. Down here, you'll see that I've already put in some data for you for the final exercise in this module. The way this works is you have these gray cells. I can go in here and I can type code. And if I hold Shift and Enter, it will execute my code and give me an output. Throughout the lesson, I'm going to be writing code in these lesson workspaces. I highly recommend that you take this video and put it on one half of your monitor and then take your Jupyter Notebook and put it on the other half of your monitor so that you can write code along with me during the video. That's going to give you one easy run through where you know exactly what you're doing before we get to the exercises so that by the time you get to the exercise, you're going to be able to complete it with confidence. As you're following along with the lesson, you may find it useful to create new cells to write code in and cut old cells or move around the order that your cells are in to stay organized and move your code around so that it makes sense to you. The way that you create a new cell is this button up here, this plus, see how it says insert cell below? If I click that, it's going to give me a new cell down here. I can move that up using this up arrow, move it down with the down arrow, and if I want to remove it, then I just hit this scissor icon to cut the selected cell. 